down. Okay. Hi guys, Todd here again with Todd's World Home Show and today I got a new product to show you. I'm going to be using this on our front door. It's the Eufy 2K HD doorbell camera and we're not going to go over detailed specs on this. Everybody knows what a doorbell camera does or is supposed to do but I'm going to use different case scenarios in my case how to display it when someone shows up at the door or how to display it when someone presses the actual door button on the Eufy doorbell cam. And I might show you a little bit of the process I use to connect this to our front door. And I'm gonna actually connect this to glass on our front door instead of the door frame. I'm trying to get close as I can to the front of the door and hopefully see some of my package deliveries below. We'll see what type of angle view we get here or how low we might have to mount it. Maybe we can't get pictures of our packages, but we'll see. Now it comes not only with the brackets, but also if you'd like to hook this up directly to your current wired doorbell, you can. They have some extensions here to go ahead and connect wired directly. And they have some anchors and screws to screw this into maybe a door frame. And then you have your release key and that's for when you connect your Eufy into the mounting bracket to release it, to charge the battery up in it. Just use this pin here, release pin, and that will release it from your bracket. Then you can go ahead and go in your house and charge it with the supplied micro USB cord. And this will connect behind this rubber cover on the back and plug into your Eufy doorbell. Now I'm expecting to get, in my case, I'm hoping to get at least four months of battery use out of this because I do have a lot of traffic from Amazon coming to my house, as you can imagine, but they advertise up to six months of trap or six months of battery. I, I believe I paid around $100 for my Eufy HD 2K doorbell camera, battery operated, but in order to get just the add-on unit. This is an add-on unit, as you see here, because I have Eufy cams, battery-operated Eufy cams already that came with the home base that I've already paid for. So if you already have a Eufy cam with home base in your household, you can buy this affordable add-on video doorbell cam from Eufy. That makes it a lot more affordable. Otherwise, you have to buy this with the home base, which is gonna cost you around $200. So anyway, let's get started, guys. All right, and we're back and I am in the attic. That's where I have my main Eufy cam base, home base right here. You can see that I got it tucked in up there. And I have it in the attic right here above the garage because my Eufy cams are at the front portion of the house, at the front door here and at the gate. And that's right around, mounted around the garage here. And that's where my attic is. So we're going to go ahead and try to pair our new Eufy HD 2K cam uh, doorbell here. And I'm in the Eufy app currently. I'm going to select add device and scroll up until I see battery doorbell by Eufy. Select that. And I'm going to go ahead and scan the QR code, which is on the back of your doorbell camera right here. Go ahead and scan that. Press the sync button until you hear the beep. Okay, press the sync button until you hear the beep. Sync button is on the back. I'm gonna hold that. And select next. And I'm gonna hold it up next to the home Ready base. To add device. Let's 
So it's emitting that sound. Device was added successfully. All right, that's good. It sounds like we had success this time. Now select next on our app. And we've got battery doorbell comes with 80% or less battery for safe transportation, fully charge it before use. And I did that over the last couple days. It's been charging in my office. So got it. And it tells you a little bit about the wiring and stuff like that and setup, which we already discussed a little bit. So I think we're all done here. I'm going to go out of this and see. There's my video doorbell right here now. I'm going to select play. Continue. Just see if I can see myself here. Yep. See myself here. Yep. It's working. working. Guys, we got it. Now, for the nice satisfying part, peel this off. Let's go mount it. Now, if this is your first UFI device, you're going to go into more at the bottom right corner, select more of the Alexa app and select skills and games. Once you get into skills and games, you're going to want to search for the UFI security app. So I'm going to go ahead and search, select the search icon at the top and type in UFI security app, select that. And there it is at the top. I'm going to select UFI security. And you're going to enable this UFI security app right here. Right now it says I can disable it. That's because I already have it enabled. So you're going to select enable right here and it's going to become part of the Alexa integration. And then you can set up different routines and stuff for your doorbell presses or your doorbell motion all around your house on your echo devices. All right. So I want to get that straight first and then I'm going to go ahead and mount it and be aware. I'm going to be messing with this and testing this for the next week and it's all going to be included in this video. So stay tuned. I'm going to mount it and then I'm going to show you test results from this week. All right. Before we go ahead and mount the Eufy doorbell, I'm going to show you how to do Alexa integration because that's the main reason I bought this Eufy doorbell cam was to integrate it with Alexa and all my Alexa devices around the house. So that's what I'm going to use to notify us in the house when anybody comes to the door visually by motion it will pick it up if you want or by doorbell press so we're going to go in here to alexa the app and if i go to devices it should already be added to your alexa once you connect the doorbell it was for me if not you'll want to go into alexa and then select discover so we're going to view our devices and I renamed it already to front doorbell. If I select that, it logs into it, says no motion currently detected. Now, if I go ahead and select the gear icon at the top right corner of the app, select that. And here it is announcement devices. I have 44 echo devices around my household and other property. So you can select motion announcements. It will notify you if it picks up motion from the camera or del uh, doorbell press announcements. So for instance, I'm going to uh, select doorbell press announcements, slide that toggle to on. Now, if I press the doorbell press, all, all around the house, I get notified by every Alexa. So you can do that or you can select the motion announcements as well. So if it picks up motion, but I'm just going to uh, turn those off for now while we discuss this even further. Right up at the top, you can edit name, see front doorbell, edit name, and you can type over that if you want. I'm going to keep it named front doorbell in my case. So I know it's at the front of the house, at the front door. Now I'm going to uh, select out of this top left corner. All right, I got the doorbell all prepped with some double-sided sticky tape. And I'm going to go ahead and clean the glass surface here with some alcohol. And I did try this at different heights, but no matter what height, even if I got down this low to the door handle, it was still going to leave out some of the uh, sidewalk there in front. 
So I said, that's okay, because I do have a UP cam over that way pointing at the door and the doorstep area here so I can see the packages with that UV cam over there. But this, I'll be able to see if somebody's standing at the door or ringing the doorbell. And I just used the molding straight edge here to line it up straight. It seems pretty sturdy. All mounted. to the front door we're going to test out our UV cam by pressing the uh, UV cam doorbell and there it is where we mounted it IR lights come on I'm gonna press the doorbell notice that light came on around the doorbell when I walked up to it hi it's just me just me testing out the UP doorbell camera. Now when you get back to your favorite TV show, you pick up your Fire TV remote, hit the back button right here, and resume your favorite TV show or YouTube channel. Just like that.